Hello and welcome to your daily devotion for Friday, March 12th. Our reading this morning comes to us from Matthew, the 13th chapter, beginning with the 10th verse. Then the disciples came and asked Jesus, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they will have, what, even what they have will be taken away. The reason I speak to them in parables is that seeing they do not perceive, and hearing they do not listen, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah that says, You will indeed listen, but never understand. And you will indeed look, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes, so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart in turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Truly I tell you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Jesus' use of parables and teaching makes sense to us, but one big reason why it makes sense to us is that we also have his explanations of the parables. And indeed, immediately following this passage in Matthew's Gospel, Jesus explains the parable of the sower, one of his more familiar parables. He's telling these words to his disciples so that they understand that some truth is being hidden from some eyes. And it's being hidden from the eyes of the proud, from those who think they know it all, from those who think they have God figured out, from those who think that they can't possibly be wrong. That's a very arrogant opinion to take. And I hope none of us ever take it. I hope we all realize that no matter how young or how old we are, we have lots to learn. And there's much, much that we don't know even about Jesus and about God's kingdom. Jesus made clear he was deliberately hiding the truth from those who could not humble themselves to listen to him, so that all they heard was a bunch of strange stories whose exact meaning was not clear. But to those who listened and to those who connected the dots of Jesus' teachings, they could see what God was doing, and what was about to happen. And yet, even they struggled to truly comprehend what Jesus was saying. They found it very difficult to accept that he was going to die and rise again in three days. The die part they could probably accept, the rise again in three days, that was much more difficult. But in order for them to accept something along those lines, it was necessary for them to first be taught in parables, to understand that some of the world's greatest truths are not going to be easily comprehensible by people who think they have everything figured out. This is also part of why Jesus said, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. It's a simple childlike understanding that what your teacher is saying is true. We know from our own experience that this is not always the case with human teachers, but with Jesus it is. And we can see from Scripture how even his most faithful disciples struggled with some of his teachings because they were difficult to accept. This is why he hid so much of what he was trying to do and trying to say in parables. And why he says that so many of the great prophets and thinkers that went before these 12 ordinary men who became his disciples longed to hear what they were hearing and longed to see what they were seeing. Those who thought they had God figured out in Jesus' time were no longer of much use to God. He wanted them to turn, to humble themselves, and to follow Jesus. But it first required them to admit that they were wrong and that they didn't understand, and that there was much to learn. They 
could not do that. Don't let the same happen to you. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for the gift of your parables, and more importantly, for the gift of the interpretation of your parables, so that we might understand and see and know what you are doing and know that it is good. We pray for all those who are as yet blinded by ignorance or arrogance and ask that you would enlighten them and let them see the beauty and glory of your light as we have seen it. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon.